victory tonight for some groups fighting against what they say is a case of voter suppression in Shelby County. A joint lawsuit by the Memphis NAACP and Tennessee Black Voters Project accused the Shelby County Commission of intentionally not processing about 6,000 applications. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. A Shelby County Chancellor ruled a short while ago, the Shelby County Election Commission must do a better job of more quickly and clearly notifying thousands whose applications are in limbo before election day. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broder is live in downtown Memphis with these breaking decisions. Brad. Good evening, Richard and Katina. The courtroom drama likely isn't over as attorneys for the Shelby County Election Commission promised an emergency appeal in a decision ruled as a win for democracy by attorneys on the other side. Now, Chancellor Joe Day Jenkins a short while ago ordered the Election Commission provide a daily update of which of those 6,000 applicants are clear to vote and which must correct any incomplete information. Those voters with any issues must also be notified immediately. Shelby County election administrator Linda Phillips was the only person to testify today. She said extra staff was brought in to handle an abnormally high 40,000 voter registration applications in a month and about 13,000 on that registration deadline day. Election leaders said voters with any lingering registration questions could still vote with a provisional ballot. But attorneys on the other side said this ruling ensures issues are cleared up quicker so more can vote with a normal ballot electronically either in early voting or on election day. So at the end of the day, I think the parties have the same interest in mind, which is to make sure that everyone who is eligible is able to participate because we can all agree that our democracy is strongest when, when that's the case, when, when everyone who is eligible can participate. Anytime this close to an election, you begin to make changes in the existing procedure, it is a burden on the process that creates the possibility, even the probability, of increased difficulties in making sure the election runs smoothly. Now, if an appeal is heard by the chancellor, I'm told that would not happen until Monday at the earliest. Early voting ends next week. Election day is Tuesday, November 6th. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Brad Broders, Local 24 News.